everyone. Welcome to Rural Life and Sustainable Living. I am Jabile, aka Malu Shaba, and welcome if you are new. <laughs> welcome if you are returning. Got a lot of distracted there, but welcome everyone. Um, today, I just want to give you a little bit of um, a, um, a background um, uh, regarding my town and also just to give you context um, for just uh, how I got lost as you, as you read uh, the title. So basically Palabora um, means uh, better than the south and it's a mining town it's also a tourist town because we have the Kruger National Park. So basically when we grew up, we, we like had, we all had like elephant pets, lion, pet, lion pets, giraffes, you know, for pets. So it's very common here for, for someone to literally have like a tiger pet. So, so yeah, that's how I grew up and I'm joking guys. I'm joking. I'm lying. That is not true. That's not how we grew up. We we don't have um, uh, wild animals for pets. It's, we don't do that. And besides that, we'd all be dead by now, because yeah, that obviously that that's not safe. Um, yeah, but we do have the Kruger National Park. Um, so it's it's pretty nice. So Palavra generally is a very nice town, and. It's, it's not a big town, it's a small town. And actually, I think maybe my love for small towns is because I come from a small town. I really love small towns. I, there's, there's something that, that just attracts me and just draws me to those kind of towns. So maybe it's because I come from one. Um, and also, it's a, we have a lot of fruit here, um, mangoes, lychees. We grow quite a lot of, uh, and marula, we have a lot of marula, mopani worms from the mopani tree. So those are like things that you will mostly, if you come here, you'll find that are very common or like growing or people, you know, in their season are eating or having. And I, I really, I really love that uh, because those are things that uh, I grew up with and yeah, every time I come here, there's just that nostalgic kind of thing. Whenever I see like Mopani worms on the ground, it, it takes, it really takes me back. It really takes me back. And, and yeah, and one thing about my, my town guys is that it's hot. It is hot, scorching hot. Like I'm talking your, like it can get to like your 40 degrees. 42 degrees hot, that kind of hot. I literally think that the sun is probably like manufactured here. And then after that, whatever is left from what we get, <laughs> then sent to everyone else. You guys only get like the remnants of whatever we got because it's, it's, it's hot. It gets really hot. And, you know, just, just today, um, I think the fact that it's it's overcast and there's there's been rain um, for the most part of this morning, I think that's what saved me. It it really saved me because we are literally at the height, at the peak of summer season, and yeah, I cannot imagine how my day would have turned out. Maybe I would, I'd be lying in the street somewhere, fainted, dehydrated or something. I just, I'm just grateful that today's weather is what it is uh, because um, it's the first day of school um, and my daughter and I were feeling very, she's starting high school today um, and she was feeling very nervous. I was feeling very nervous for her. And, you know, as a mother, you, or as a parent, we, you know, whenever our children are uneasy, we also get so uneasy and I was trying to just make her feel better without also just really making her or, or, or 
alerting her or making her aware that I'm also feeling quite anxious and everything. But nevertheless, by evening I was fine, but she was not. So she literally hung on to me, not like, okay, not literally, let me take that back because she'll be mad. Um, but she, she didn't want me to, to, to leave her. But eventually I did leave her because she, she made a few friends and she she just settled in. She was fine this morning. And I decided that, okay, I'm going to walk back because I just felt like a nice workout would be nice. You know, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very keen on like heavy workout and I really love walking. And let me tell you, Palabra is very flat. Okay. It's not, it's, it's not like KZN where it's mountainous, it's hilly and all of that. Really, I don't think just with what happened to me today, I don't know if I would have like survived. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I, would be, I would be in the hospital maybe had it been in KZN because those hills guys those hills don't play okay so I'm just glad that it is what it is and oh okay for me on So what happened basically is after she she settled in made those friends and she was like okay you can go but honestly like she actually didn't say you can go us just like guys okay you guys figure it out you newbies newbie by yourself because i'm gone i'm gone you'll figure it out and i left and a few days before i'd driven in that area with my mom and brother so i I, you know, this is my, this is my, this is my neighborhood. I know this place. And I was like, I'll be good. I see where we are. So I'll be fine. But lo and behold, I wasn't fine. <laughs> because I took the wrong way. And the thing is that when I was growing up, the area, that area was mostly empty. So now with times, people are starting to, to, to build in those areas. So now there are roads, now there are houses being built, now there are stands there because people have bought uh, spaces they want to build there. So I, I, just, I just thought, you know, I mean, I, I couldn't possibly get lost. I couldn't possibly get lost. This is my neighborhood. But thing is that I... I, I stayed here part-time until I was about 12. So when I was turning 13, I went to boarding school three hours away from home. And even during the time before I, I went to boarding school, I, I would go to school, come back, play close to home, go to my friends who lived close to home. And so I wasn't like one who like explored everywhere. And I mean, besides... I had a curfew, so I was I wasn't even gonna be able to 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 do such things and yeah. After high school as well, I mean during high school I would come back home during school holidays and then I'd be going to my friends. She'd come here and that that was me. That I I was going to her place. She was or, or she was coming to my place. We're not going like too far far away places exploring the place. We were not doing that. There was no time for that. <laughs> And so, but, but, um, I generally just have an idea. I don't, I don't, I literally, maybe if like I was blindfolded and put in a certain place, I, I wouldn't know where I am. I wouldn't know where I am, but I know that I could find my way. So I think I just went, I just went uh, with, with that. I just figured I'll just go where we drove and then I'll just figure my way out of, of my way around. But guys, I have I I've never been so stressed out like I was today. The moment I realized, no man, I'm not seeing those those things that I was seeing the other day when we were driving here. And I just kept walking, and you know, it was just empty. It was bushes. It was those new developing stands, homes, 
houses and just here and there there'd be like people who are occupying but it's morning people are going to work there are there are cars on the road yeah but like it's it's empty and the moment when like it really sunk in Uguti, yes girl you are lost <laughs> is when like i was literally just walking and seeing that there's literally no left turn there's no right turn and now it's too late for me to go back the only way for me is to just keep walking straight and i'll just see where i end up now at some point i start seeing graves and literally there's only one graveyard and it's very 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 far away from home we have like one graveyard in our in our area and i was just like wow wow guys wow you know when you've walked and you're like yeah i've walked today and you get to a point where you realize that you haven't even you're not even halfway that's what happened to me <laughs> when i realized where i was i was just like yo yo kanti <laughs> and you know it, it started drizzling it started drizzling but luckily you know when you're walking and you just you get warm so it was like the rain was cooling me down and it wasn't heavy rain such that like by the time i got home i was like soaked it was it was nice rain i enjoyed that and i did enjoy the walk but it's, it was just like it was just the fact that i was panicked at some point that like guys like where am i where am i because when i was looking like houses were like over there and i'm seeing the mines <laughs> like oh my god oh my god so I, I was just imagining that like i must i must have walked so far and here's the thing about me guys i'm terrified of lines terrified 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 and i was just imagining like a lion <laughs> not that it happens it's just that i have a phobia so and you know the kruger national park is not far and i was just imagining oh my god like where am i why what am i gonna do if like a lion just jumps out of the bushes somewhere but that yeah that that was just my imagination running wild <laughs> But I just kept walking and walking and walking until I got home. And by the time I got home, when I checked the time, I'd walked about like an hour and 40 minutes. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't have been the case. Maximum, I should have like walked like 30 minutes or so. And I think when I, when I just calculate in my mind, I'm just calculating the kilometers, maybe I walked like, 30 min 30 kilometers or so i walk like yeah around somewhere around there but yeah lesson learned lesson learned i need to i need to explore my 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 neighborhood because i i mean i've come home visiting and all that but I've, I've whenever i'm home i'm just home you know i'm seeing my family i don't really go here and then then there but i think now that i'm back it's an opportunity for me to really get to know my 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 area my town the the townships around so there are townships and there there are villages around here so i just need to get to 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 know them better and it's not that literally i would have gotten lost it's just the thing that i don't know what could happen to me in this area because it's it's quite empty and there aren't a lot of people walking around. But I knew that I would find my way home. I just, I was just like, yeah, like anything could happen to me, you know. And just the way I walked, I, I, I it's like I, I, I walked around the, the township, like around it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, like. Yeah, it's, it's, the township is in the middle and I walked like around it. And yeah, I got home. I'm safe and sound. My daughter is at school. I cannot wait for her to come back and tell me how, how it went, how it was. I'm actually excited for her because 
yeah, like my baby's growing. My baby's growing and she's also uh, going to be learning different things. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for both my children and I'm excited for myself also to get to know my neighborhood better, my town, the, the townships and just also the neighboring towns here because there's um, another one it's not too far it's also a small town hood spread i want to get to know hood spread better and then just yeah the other the other towns that are a little a little bit further but yeah guys i'm excited and i hope to see you in the in the next video